Hello everybody, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. We are currently in the truck heading over to my buddy's house. Now, my buddy a while ago built this log splitter and it's not the first log splitter he's built. I think it's like either the third or fourth that he's built and each one that he built gets bigger and bigger and more wild and more powerful with more features and everything like that. So. We're going over there and we're gonna help him split a little bit of wood. I brought the 500i with the Egan straight shot exhaust on it. Um, my friend doesn't really wanna be part of the video, which is totally fine. Um, I'm hoping I can get some cool footage of the splitter and how it works. So uh, I'm gonna try and get as much footage as I can for the little bit that we split. And I'll probably do like a voiceover or something kind of explaining the splitter and uh, you know his whole thought process on it as far as I know from what he's told me. Um, so this is going to be a little bit different of a video, but I mean, I've used the splitter before and it's really cool. And uh, you're probably going to think it looks pretty familiar, um, you know, if you're in this whole log splitter, you know, wood hound kind of niche on YouTube. You've probably seen splitters pretty similar to this before. But uh, again, he, he built this one himself, which Every time I see the thing, I'm extremely impressed. So, hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, this is the splitter. As you can see, it's a box style wedge. It's a five way box, creates four pieces at a time. My buddy built this all from scratch. It's got a nice log lift on it. We got some maple and beach rounds here. We're gonna push them through. Okay guys, so from what I know about this splitter, from what my friend has told me, it is powered by a Kawasaki 28 horsepower motor. It runs a 28 gallon per minute pump with a dump valve 
and it has, I think it was a 25 gallon hydraulic fluid or oil reservoir. Um, the thing, as you can see, works pretty well. When I first got there, I helped him adjust the detent on the auto cycle a little bit, and uh, we were taking a look at the pressure gauge, but I mean, it pushes right through this beach, and this beach had a little bit of wave to it. It wasn't, it wasn't the straightest stuff in the world. But for a homemade log splitter, as you can see here, he, he's showing me the height adjustment. It goes quite high. That way he could just use the single wedge if he wanted to on smaller rounds. Um, it's a five-way, what he calls a five-way box wedge. So it splits four pieces on the bottom at a time and then your fifth piece up on top. Now he built this completely from scratch. The things that he bought were the cylinder, obviously the wheels, the uh, you know controls, valves and stuff, but all of the metal and stuff, the pullback arm that you see, the wedge, the log cradle, the log lift, all the mechanisms to raise and lower, um, said log lift and box wedge were all fabricated by hand. So I got a tip my hat to my friend here. He did quite the job and as you can see the splitter works pretty darn well. Well, all right, guys, that is it. We are on our way back. I hope you enjoyed the footage that I got of my friend's homemade splitter. Um, I have run it before, maybe for a total of like 10 minutes or so, um, really not much, and it was right after he finished building it, and that, at this point, was like maybe two years ago. Um, he's done modifications to it since to like work some of the kinks out. And it works really well. I mean, I was super impressed. He, he is a very talented guy. One of those guys where like you, you give him a problem or you, you can talk to him on the phone, propose an issue to him and he's got a solution. Or if he doesn't have one on the spot, he'll call you back in 20 minutes with like the perfect solution. Um, he, as well as my other buddy, Chris, 
has helped me with my welding skills and fabrication and stuff like that. Um, you, I'm just always super impressed when I see that splitter. Uh, you know, he, he went online and took a lot of inspiration from various splitters that he found on YouTube and just pictures online and put it all together. And that machine is what he came up with. So uh, if you liked his machine, please drop a comment down in the comment section. I know he's gonna be watching this video for sure. And um, I'm curious to see what you guys think of it. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed for being a homemade machine. So as always guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you have not yet already subscribed, click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Questions, comments, or feedback from my buddy, drop it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake, this is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.